Doe, what up, Doe? It's your girl, Jaja, and we are live, and it is, what is it? Thankful Thursdays. We have the activities of our limbs. We ain't in nobody's jail. We ain't in nobody's hospital. And I'm going to tell you something. You better understand that they have room. They're going to make room. They make your room right now. It is Thankful Thursdays. We have the activities of our limbs. We ain't in nobody's hospital. We ain't in nobody's jail. Uh, because believe you me, they got room. And I'm going to tell you something. On this last uh, Thursday of 2021, I'm super grateful to be alive and in the number because there are some people that did not make it. Um, and then there are some people right now that are that are dealing with some challenges um, that could seemingly feel like it could take you out. And I'm going to tell you something. As God is my witness, I thank God that I don't look like what I've been through and neither do you. You don't look like what you've been through. I don't look like what I've been through because if, if y'all know anything, what's up, Big Trav? What's happening? Listen, it's going to be a little interactive today. I'll be seeing y'all when y'all be watching me and saying stuff, but I'll be trying to stay focusing in the moment so I don't forget my, my points. But I wanted to hop on today and I wanted to talk to you. If you're tuning in, you're listening to what? Yeah, I said it. And before I take you back, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. Listen, I'm talking to you about don't waste it. Don't waste it, okay? Listen, 2021 was an amazing year for me. It was a, a definitely a trying year, and it was an expanding year. And I remember as a kid, I used to pray the Jabez prayer. And if you don't know anything about the Jabez prayer, it's um, to extend your territory, um, to, to expand your gifts across uh, areas that you would never anticipate or or think about. But you also have to understand the things that we ask God for when we get in the position to serve or get in the position to provide or create. Um, those positions are not always easy. See, God will give you a vision um, and he'll give you an idea, but there are going to be different steps that you're going to have to take in order to get to that next level. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking to you all about don't waste it. A lot of us um, got caught up in a lot of um, internal pressures. I know I was one. You know, we have these internal pressures, these, these time clocks that we have that we think um, I'm supposed to have a baby before this time and I'm supposed to get married. By this time, and you know, I, I gotta open up me a business because that's what it seems like it's the thing to do. And you know, I, I gotta start this, and because that's what is seemingly sounding like I'm supposed to do. And sometimes we put more pressure on ourselves than the people that we're meant to serve, and it causes us to be depressed and it causes us to suffer from anxiety. I, I'm the first one to say that I've suffered from depression. I've suffered from anxiety um, because of the traumas that have happened in my life and because of things that people have caused in my own life. And guess what? Y'all ready for the accountability and the things that I've created on my own? See, when you get to a level in life where you can start looking and do a life audit, and if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. This is something that I want you to do, and that is to do a life audit. See, one of the things that I found myself doing was, let me look at my life. And you know, why everybody's posting up their 2021 videos and all of that, you know, for show, you have to do a real life audit. And a real life audit looks like, okay, what does my health look like and how can it be better? What does my finances look like and how can they be better? What up, Del Monte? How can, what, what does my personal uh, life look like and how can it be better? What does my career look like and how can it be better? What does my home look like, my home life look like and how can it be better? What does my relationships look like and how can they be better? What does my free time look like and how can it be better? When we start looking at our life and our life audits, we have a better understanding of, okay, where we fit in, in our life and where we fit in society. There were some situations that happened to me this year 
um, that I literally want to take my wig off and throw it, y'all, because I couldn't believe how people tried to play me. But at the end of the day, don't waste it. See, a lot of us, we we get caught up and I'm, I'm so super grateful for um, uh, David McClure, who came from Inception for my Manifest Your Universe event. And he talked about three type of people, people that are fighters, people that freeze and people who flight. People who fight, I'm a fighter. I'm not going to let certain things overtake me. Will I cry? Will I be upset? Will I yell? Will I be devastated? Will I have an issue about it? But I'm a fighter. It's always been in me. I just I, I couldn't allow things to just happen to me and I just lay down and let them happen. And then you have people who who freeze. This is this is their way of coping. They they don't they don't know what to do. They just they just don't do nothing. And then you have people who are flights. They get away. They they exit stage left. They hands up. Don't shoot. I don't even want to be involved. Let me let me get away. And see, depending on where you are in life will also depend on what you're going to do in 2022. See, because I know that I'm a fighter, I also got to know when to stop fighting, when, when to let stuff go, when to deal with things in a way that it's healthy for me because I'm an empath and I take on feelings and I take on responsibilities of situations and I feel things that I don't want to feel, but I feel them. And see, if you're dealing with some of those things, that also means that you're an empath as well. And see, because I know that I'm a fighter, I know that I'm going to stick it out to the end or I'm going to try to work it out or I'm going to try to see the best out of a situation. But sometimes God is saying you need to walk away. Sometimes you being a fighter only puts you in a position for you to lose. Some of us, we fought for relationships this year. We we fought for our sanity. We we fought for our kids. My son graduated this year. One of the one of the biggest accomplishments that I can say that I did in my entire 30 plus years of living. I was able to raise a young king on my own with a village to help me. And right at the finish line, that village failed us right at the finish, right at the finish line, that village failed us. So I had to fight to get that zeal back and that energy back and that and that love back. And then there are going to be times where you're going to have to freeze. You know what? I can't deal with this. I, I, I don't want to deal with this and I ain't got to deal with this. Have you ever met people who are just easy? They could just. They just be like, you know what? I, I'm just not. And I and in, in it for me, because I'm a fighter, you like. How you just going, how you just going to freeze up? How you just going to let this happen? But see, everybody is not the same. What I've learned in my life is that everybody's trauma ain't the same. Everybody didn't grow up the same way. Everybody doesn't respond the same way. Everybody don't have the same heart you do. Everybody don't share the same God and prayer that you do. Everybody doesn't have the same faith you do. That's why God says, start off with the size of a mustard seed. Now, if you still walking around with mustard seed faith, and after all God has done for you, you should be a watermelon faith by now. You, you should be an elephant faith. See, there are times where I have to tap into that little mustard seed of faith because of situations that have happened in my life. And then I have to look over my life and think things over and say, you know what, Jaja, if God did that, then with less than what you had, you better expect God to do something big, but you got to be in a position to be able to receive it. See, I owe me and you owe you. Before you think about who owe you, before you think about any money uh, or any type of anything, you owe you. I owe myself so much because I tolerated things that I shouldn't have tolerated. I allowed things that I should not have allowed and not just from other people, from myself. See, before you can point the finger for anything that's happened in your life, you are going to have to say, what part did I play in my 2021 that made me feel like this? 
And if you understand that and you can hold yourself accountable for that, guess what? Your 2022 is going to be an amazing one. Don't mean that you're not going to have hardships. Don't mean that you're not going to have challenges. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yah said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking all about don't waste it. Because a lot of us wasted a lot of energy on things and people that really brought us down. It didn't take us to the next level like we anticipated. It didn't put us in a better position than what we thought it would. It might have been fun. It might have been an experience. But I'm going to tell you something. Every brought lesson is a taught lesson. And there are people in your life that aren't meant to destroy you. They were meant to teach you. Because, see, a lot of us, you know, because we get older and, you know, we become a tour, we don't think that we are entitled to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So what that means is that you're no better than me and I'm no better than you. But, see, people take on that mindset that they are, are better or that they deserve the utmost when all we need to do is just learn to be nice to one another, learn to be able to work together, learn to be able to collab together. But in the midst of you doing that, you got to understand that you owe you. You owe you the best that you could ever give yourself before you can expect somebody to give you the steak and the lobsters and expect for you to get the truffle butters and expect for you to get the good lamb chops and expect for you to get the best of the best. You got to want the best for the best for yourself. You got to expect the best of the best for yourself. Before I could have a man love me the way that he's supposed to love me, I got to love me. And see, a lot of us um, will settle because we don't believe that we deserve the best. I'm going to just get what I can get. I'm going to just settle for, for, for what, what's available. And sometimes God is saying, no, nah, sis, no, nah, bro. Why are you settling for less than when I'm offering you the best? But you got to be patient enough to want the best. See, some people don't want to wait. They want an instantaneous blessing. They want it right now when they want it. And if they ain't getting it right now, then guess what? I don't want it. And see, some people will create um, the narrative because there are some people that you are connected to that drained you this year. You know why? Because they were takers. You got people in your life right now, people that you're married to, your kids, uh, friendships, business partners. It didn't work because they were takers. And you're a giver. And when you're a giver, you don't understand how people can take because you anticipate for that giving to be reciprocated back to you. I've given people opportunities that they probably wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't given it to them. But they'll act like, oh, who is she? You know, before anybody knew who you were, I was hiring you to do what you did. But see, people will think, they got to where they got to on their own, on their own merit. There are some things I did this year that um, I was able to accomplish because of the, the, the support that I received. I was able to get some things done because of the seeds that I planted. Years and years and years of mentorship, years and years of helping people, years and years of looking past my own situations and still seeing people's needs. God didn't forget it. You might have forgot. You might have forgot who helped you get to where you are, but God didn't forget. And so because God didn't forget, he won't forget about me. See, there are people who didn't anticipate you to be blessed the way you were blessed this year or to come out on top the way you did. They didn't see you cry. They didn't see the turmoil. They didn't see the trials or tribulations or the struggle. But what they did see was the win. And see, so you got to be mindful of people who only see you when you're winning and only think that that's all you're capable of doing. There are times where I, I lost, but I made losing look good. What I'm supposed to do, sit on the side of the road and, and pull out patches out my wig? No, I got to dust myself off and try again, like my sister Leah said. Because at the end of the day, when you are wired a certain way, you can't lose. There were some situations that came up against me and I could not even fathom. How you going to do that to me? How you how you going? How you going to operate like this with me? But see, there are certain people who are wired a certain type of way. 
There are people, they ain't wired the way you wired. They ain't got the heart you got. They ain't got the passion that you got. They don't have, they don't have the tenacity and the resilience that you have. You know, there were a time in my life, you know, when I was going through my divorce and I was, my mom had just died and, and my brother had died. It was just like stuff was just happening. Like I was, a lady had hit my truck and I had just got it. And it was just so much stuff that was happening. And, and, it, and I was just, my friend was like, you just keep going. What I'm supposed to do? Stop? I'm, I'm supposed to give up? The richest place in the world is the cemetery and all of those people didn't follow their dreams. And there are gonna be people that aren't gonna like you because you're pursuing the very things that they have a hard time trying to do. See, pursuing your dream, following that vision, it's not always a clear cut journey. It's not always a step one through 10, like putting together uh, uh, some furniture or, or a task. Sometimes you're going to get to three before you get to one. Sometimes seven is going to be in the, in the place of five. Sometimes you're going to get to 10 without having to do one. But see, when you come to a place where you say, you know what? You don't know what it takes to be me. So let me focus on me. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking about, listen, I'm talking all about don't waste it. Don't waste it on people who don't mean you no good. Don't waste your energy on people who don't have your best interest at heart. See, there are going to be people who you think, right? have your best interests at heart, and they really don't. They're looking at you to see how they can attach themselves to you so that they can be the wagon to your horse. See, if you know anything about a horse, a horse is very strong, right? And, and, and for the most part, it was used for transportation and carrying loads and, and transporting and um, having people to maneuver and get things done. And then they would attach the wagon onto the horse. And the wagon would carry the extra load for the horse. Sometimes there are people that are attached to you that you're dragging like a wagon. And they ain't input nothing positive. They just withdrawn, withdrawn, taking, 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 and not putting nothing into you. And then when you look up, your cup is empty. There were times in my life that I looked out for my family and my family did not look out for me. There were times that I looked out for friends and I was the friend in the friendship. There were times where I sat up with people who wouldn't even pick up the phone for me. I literally was helping somebody who was ill and they couldn't even turn around and bring me medicine. So what that taught me was Sometimes you are going to care more about people, love people more than they love you. And you're going to have to learn to walk away from those relationships as difficult as they may be, as challenging as it may be. And you may feel like, dang, if I walk away from this relationship, am I going to have access to this? Let me tell you something. There is not one single soul that I've lost that made my life any better. If, if there was a reason for them to leave my life, there was a reason why God allowed it to happen. And because they left my life, that, didn't, that did not exclude me from God still blessing me. See, some people think that their blessings and, and your success is predicated upon them. It's not because God will send you another videographer. God will send you another husband. God will send you another wife. God will send you some finances that you didn't anticipate having. God will put you in the right place at the right time to talk to the right people. Let me tell you something. I, I was in L.A. on a budget. Do you hear me when I got on Jimmy Kimmel? I mean, literally on a budget. And I mean, I bought I bought on a budget like I had never bought on a budget before in L.A. And if anybody knows about L.A., it's quite expensive. But when I got on Jimmy Kimmel, it took my value to another level. It let me know that what I am looking for and anticipating God to do in my life is extremely close. It's reachable. When I worked with George Lopez, 
and we sat in that baby blue bins while we were filming for a and &E, And I sat there and I said, I'm sitting next to one of the kings of comedy. Can't nobody take that from me. And see, nobody knows what it takes to be you. That's why you got to owe yourself. That's why you got to do it for you. You can't do it for them. You can't do it for that. You can't do it for nothing. You got to do it for you. I owe me. Because there are a lot of people that will try to belittle. They will try to belittle what you become or who you're trying to become because they can't accept the fact that it's you. You mean to tell me? That you can laugh at all these people, you can support all these people, but because it's me. So you got to learn to to support you. You got to learn to big you up, back you up. You got to learn to say, you know what? Let me put on my best nice clothes. Yeah, I was crying yesterday. Yeah, I was upset yesterday, but today is a new day, and I got to figure out the next steps. I got I got to get back to the next steps because I wasted time dealing with that energy yesterday, and I didn't I don't got that same time today. And see, the quicker you learn to get over stuff and the quicker you learn to deal with certain situations in your life, the quicker they won't hold you hostage. See, you can't stop people from holding you hostage because guess what? People are people. People going to hold you hostage. People going to feel some type of way about what you say, what you do. People, go, people are easily offended. You know, we live in a world where you can't say boo to nobody. And it's like, oh, my God, they said boo. I don't like the tone that they use when they said boo. And oh, my God, like, I did, was it two O's? Was it just one? And so you find yourself in a headspace where it's like, you know what? I'm not going to allow how you feel about me to make it right. Because, see, there are people that you're getting ready to walk into in 2022 that can make or break your decisions. And you got to be so in love with you and love yourself so much that you are not bothered by their opinion of you. There are people around this city, around this world, around this state who have positive opinions about me and they also have negative opinions about me. But guess what? Both of them might even be accurate depending on where you saw me and how we even affiliated across paths. Because in one instance, you may get people who love you with all their heart and soul, and then you're going to have some people that can't stand your guts. But you're going to have to understand within all of their feelings, you're going to have to learn to love you. You want to get your hair a new color? Guess what? Learn to love that new color. You trying to lose weight for you? You can't wait till somebody acknowledges you losing weight. You're going to have to learn to love you regardless. And see, when you learn to love you regardless, the minute somebody fold on you, the minute somebody switches up on you, it's not as hard to deal with. Now, it may come out the blue, but it ain't as hard to deal with because you love you so much that you ain't gonna, you're ain't you not going to allow nobody to take away what you've worked so hard for. And see, if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yah, I said it. And before I take you back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. Listen, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know Jaja because you do. Stop acting brand new. It ain't no reason why we got four, five thousand friends and followers, and then you turn around and you ain't got no subscribers. Subscribe. You know Jaja on YouTube because you do. Okay? Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm gonna add more to it. I'm talking about don't waste it, because a lot of us we wasted our time with feelings. You don't get time back when you're dealing with feelings. Yeah, a lot of people who got in their feelings this year. A lot of people who felt some type of way about whatever they wanted to feel like. And sometimes there ain't no money in them feelings. There ain't no peace in them feelings. Those feelings can deceive you. One minute you can be in love with somebody and the next minute you out of love and hate them. That's what lets you know your feelings and emotions can deceive you. That's why you got to be so solid within yourself that if somebody does decide that they want to love you with all their heart one day and turn around and, and make you feel like you're the enemy the next day, you still got to love you. If, if you had children with somebody and they were supposed to have your back through this thing and they didn't have your back through this thing, guess what? You still going to have to do what you got to do for you and your children. You can't get caught up in what the other person didn't do. Let me tell you something. This was a, supposed to be one of the most profound years and it still was. But I had a difficulty looking at my son's father and his family go celebrate another kid in another state when you got a, a child right here that you didn't celebrate. 
And as difficult as that was to comprehend and deal with, guess what? We had to deal with it and move on. And now we're at another phase of my son's life where now we have to figure out, okay, what direction are you going to go in? Because now that direction that you're going to go in is going to affect you. And what people fail to realize is everything we do affects us. Who we call our enemies affect us. Who we decide we want to be beef, beefed out with affects us. Who, who decides that they want to create chaos and keep chaos going on in other people's families. That all affects. And I'm going to tell you something else. Karma is something else. What you have put in, you're going to get back. That which you have sown, you will also reap. So if you sowing seeds of chaos in other people's family, oh, you better believe it's some stuff coming around the corner for you. If you thought some people got away with some stuff for the, the way they treated you in 2021, oh, you best believe, baby. Oh, karma don't have an expiration date. It may be a new year to us, but karma saying, oh, no, you still the same person. It's just a new year. See, a lot of people want to walk into this new year, new me, new year's resolutions. I got all these goals. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Listen, all of that is great. But if your heart still ain't right, if you still got the same heart from 2021, it ain't going to work for you in 2022. You still got the same mindset from 2021. It ain't going to work in 2022. You still operating off envy and jealousy and pride and ego and arrogance in 2021. How that's going to help you in 2022? It ain't. It can't. You know why? Because there are going to be times where people are going to say one thing, but they're going to move a different type of way. That's why you got to know and have a mature mindset. And you got to also know who's there for you. The people that's really there for you, you ain't got a question. Let me tell you something. People that's for me, still for me. The people that was never for me, they ain't around no more. And it was easy, disheartening, but it was easy to let them go because if a person's really for you, they gonna find a way to say, you know what? I don't, I don't know what happened or I do know what happened. We need to talk or I apologize or I'm sorry. People just act like I'm sorry and I apologize is the play. Like you, you did wrong someone. And then let me tell you this. You ain't got to be kissing nobody's ass. You apologized. Keep it moving. They want to hold you hostage. Keep it moving. They don't want to let they don't want to let you live that like I got people talking about stuff that happened in 2014. How is you talking about something that happened in 2014 and we about to be in 2022? Let it go. It happened. Get over it. You're going you to have to move on to the next season of your life because people will try to people will try to hold you hostage for some things that they can't get over. Because they see you in a in a limelight. And this is one of the things that you got to understand. There are some people that don't want you to be successful because they feel like you shouldn't be. But again, people don't know the seeds that you planted, the people you've helped, the children that you've supported. Nobody knows some of the things that you've done in silence and, and quietly because guess what? A lot of people doing a lot of things real loud. Look at me. Look at what I did. Look at how I'm doing. And you know what? Maybe it was my fault. Maybe I should have been a lot more visual with a lot of things that I did behind the scenes so that people could understand what was really going on. Because, you know, when you have an immature mindset, you also have a victim mindset. When you when you know people who have an immature mindset, they also have a victim mindset. People who are immature always have the victim, the blame game. It's somebody else's fault. It, it, well, I didn't do it. Uh, you, it's, this is the reason why. When you get to a mature mindset, you say to yourself, okay, how can I fix this? How can this be rectified? How can we change the trajectory of this problematic situation? What do I need to do so that it don't happen again? See, there are some things that you're going to have to run into again in 2022 if you really didn't learn them in 2021. There are some tests and some trials 
that you are going to encounter again in 2022 if you did not learn from them in 2021. There were some situations that I just kept running into in my life. And I kept understanding, God, why does keep happening? Well, because you ain't learning your lesson. You not learning from it. You enjoying the moment, but you're not taking it as a tool of an experience for you to learn something. And then when it's over and all you're left with are memories, now you have to make the adjustments. Now you got to do the jump start. Now you got to get a Kickstarter to get your, get your engines revved back up because you didn't look at that situation as a lesson. I'm going to tell you something. What 2021 taught me is I don't care how many meetings you have with anybody, put it in writing. 2021 taught me I, I don't believe it unless it's in paper, black and white. I don't believe it unless you show me. Oh, you love me? Show me. Oh, you support me? Show me. Oh, you want to do business with me? Okay, let's get this contract. Oh, oh you, you want to be a part of my production? Oh, okay, hit, sign this contract. Because I had people who stole from me who didn't even have to steal. I had people take stuff from me that they didn't even have to take. I got footage that I haven't even, I can't do nothing with because I don't have it. I, I, I didn't got snapped out by people for footage that I don't even have because people decided that they wanted to take my stuff. And as difficult and as heartbreaking as that was, it was a lesson. It, it, it was a lesson. And see, a brought lesson is a taught lesson. A brought lesson is a taught lesson. And see, sometimes people don't believe that you can have these type of lessons in your life and learn from them. See, one of the things that I love about God is that he's always going to come through and let me know, hey, I need you to focus. I need you to tap in. I need you to understand some sis. This is what the next level is getting ready to look like in your life. And see, you're going to have to learn to make those adjustments and you're going to have to learn to jumpstart yourself. Sometimes I know, uh, what was that? I forgot what his name, but it said, encourage yourself. And see, you also have to get into a space where you cannot get caught up in what somebody else think about you. If I focused on what people thought about me, I would think I was nothing. If I literally was focused on how somebody else perceived me, I would be left with nothing. Because there are people in your life that are going to try to project their feelings off on you and how they feel about you and what you should be doing and what they don't think that you should be doing. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, people are always going to want to feel a certain type of way and they want you to feel a certain type of way. I made up in my mind that I wasn't doing that. I made up in my mind that there are going to be people in my life that are not going to, they're not going to support that. They're not going to support that vision. And see, when you understand that there are going to be people that are not going to support that vision, you need to be focusing on real results, real efforts, real people. You can put that right in the charger for me right there, right there. Pull that other one out and put it in there. Thank you. There are going to be people who they going to want to see you win. And there are people that I love right now that I can truly genuinely count on. They want to see me win. They're not looking for me to lose. And there are some people in your life right now, they don't want you to lose. They want you to win. But you got to be around the right people. And see, there are some people that you think that you can win with. Can't win with everybody. I don't care how much clout they got. I don't care how many followers they done bought. I don't care how many times they get on there and give you a two piece and a biscuit. Cause see, I know a lot of these people for their works and I know them personally. And see, there comes a time where people will get on social media one way and then they a whole different way. This is one of the reasons why I thank God that I'm consistent. I'm consistent. If I didn't like it in, I still probably don't like you. If I extended the olive branch to resolve a problematic situation, you continue to make it a problem. Well, guess what? It's going to remain what it is. See, sometimes you're going to have to call a spade a spade. And it may be as, di as difficult as it is to, to understand. There are some real efforts and real results 
that you need to accomplish and you don't have time to be playing no games with not one single soul. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to, yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. I'm talking about don't waste it. Because we waste a lot of things in life. We waste a lot of things in life with people who don't mean us no good. And we think, oh, why are they doing this to me? Why are they making me feel like this? You don't, they don't have the same passion and they don't have the same dreams. There are some people who don't have the same passion as you. They don't have the same dreams as you. So it's going to require a different level from you to accomplish those passions and those dreams that God put on your heart to do. And because God put it on your heart, don't expect it to be on theirs. There were times as I've grown in my business and in my businesses that I anticipated or expected people to have the same love that I showed them that they should show me. And it don't always work that way. Some people, some people aren't going to have that same love. Some people aren't going to share that same vibe with you. And at the end of the day, you got to learn it's a daily choice. Every day I wake up, I could be mean. I could be nasty. I could be rude. But it's a daily choice to be nice. It's a daily choice to be to be happy for people. It's a daily choice to show love. It's a in a, in a cold world of Detroit. It's a choice when I smile at people that I know are my enemies. I had to unfriend some people this week, and I'm gonna probably keep unfriending them because I don't want to be around nobody to make me feel some type of way. I don't want to be connected to somebody. I got a side eye. I gotta hope you ain't gonna do nothing shady and conniving. I got to pray you ain't trying to hurt me. I got to hope and pray because I can't stop nobody from talking about me. I can't stop nobody from having a opinion about how they feel about whatever it is that they feel. But what I can do is remove myself from any situation that makes me feel less than. I only want to be connected to people who want to celebrate me, not just tolerate me. I want to be connected to people who want to see me win, just like I want to see them win. But see, when you start looking and paying attention to people's repetitive behaviors, you start paying attention to, OK, I don't need to be connected to you because you all talk. I don't need to be connected to you because you ain't consistent. OK, I don't need to be connected to you because you know what? You don't have my best interest at heart. I don't really know what tip you want. And God will show you. He'll have you feeling some type of way. He'll have you feeling uncomfortable. I'm going to tell you something. When I know when it's right is when it's peaceful. When it don't take a lot of pressure. When it don't, you know, people will say, oh, they doing too much. No, nah, I want somebody to embrace my doing too much. I want somebody to, because I'm going to embrace theirs. If this is what you got to do and this is what it got, what you got to take, this is what it got to take to get you to that next level. I'm all for it. What we got to do. But you got to watch those people who try to make you feel like you doing the most or you not doing enough. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to y'all setting it before I take it back. Y'all already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. We're talking about don't waste it. Because a lot of us will waste our energy and our time on people that didn't mean us no good from the jump. In 2022, you're going to have to pick it up. You're going to have to ask God for a spirit of discernment like you ain't never had it before. Because I wasted some energies on people and things because my life got disrupted. And sometimes life can get disrupted. How many of us had COVID? It, it disrupted our life. How many of us knew people who had COVID who we were supposed to do stuff with? It disrupted our life. So what that tells me is, is that you're going to have disruptions in your life. There are things that are going to happen to you in your life that you are not going to anticipate. You ain't going to see it coming. You ain't going to see it coming from a can of paint. It ain't going to come with no warning signs. It ain't going to come with no precautionary measures. Guess what? It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And it may not always be bad. There were some wins that I got, that some calls that I received that, that changed the trajectory of my whole journey. And here it is. I'm thinking I'm doing one thing, but God says, no, nah, sis, I'm going to have you over here. And see, this is the thing that you got to understand is that I don't got to identify with who you think I am. I'm going to identify with who I think I am. I say I'm a multi-billionaire every day. Do that mean I got billions? No. But that also means that I'm speaking those things that are not as though they were. I'll be okay being a multi-billionaire in my 50s, 60s. I'm okay with it as long as I'm, long as I'm one. 
as long as I'm in the number. And see, I'm not looking for instantaneous gratification because I need longevity with this thing. I need to be around 10, 20, 30, 40 years. My name's still ringing bells. See, there were some people that was around last year that ain't around. Just like there's going to be some people that you ain't see anticipate coming in 2022 that's, that's coming out the floodgates. And they're going to surpass you up while you think, oh, I don't want to work with nobody. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know how we do. Some of y'all missed out on some blessings because you were too prideful and too arrogant to humble yourself and say, you know what? Let me let me pull myself with them. Let me let me collab with them. Or let me support them and get them to the next level. Don't take much. All it takes is touching and agreeing. The Bible says if any two or three, all you got to do is be willing. You got to be a willing soul. You got to be a willing participant. You got to be willing to learn. You got to be willing to fall back and follow sometimes. There are situations where I don't always want to lead. I want somebody else to lead. Let me help you follow you what you need me to do. Because at the end of the day, there are seasons in our life where you got to make a daily choice. Yeah, depression can overtake you, but let me tell you something. Every time I was dealing with depression or anxiety, I could not afford for the depression and anxiety to take over me because God want me to do something different. I want to do something different. So I got to put my big girl panties on and I got to acknowledge, okay, Jaja, today you feeling some type of way. And this feeling that you feeling ain't going to be here forever. But in the time frame that it is here, we're going to have to learn how to deal with it. We're going to have to learn how to walk it out, talk it out, write it out, pray it out, cry it out. There were some times I had to, I fought the walls, just beating them, just hurting my hands. But before I beat somebody up and go to jail, I can't do nothing in jail. I can't be, I, listen, I'm, you not about to paw me. I ain't trying to be in nobody's jail. I've been there, done that. That ain't my ministry. Now, I will minister to those that are in prison and jail. I will go in there so that I can come out. I don't want to be in there with them. Okay? Yeah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it because ain't nobody got time. And when you don't want to waste that time, you don't want to waste that time with anybody who's going to waste it. Ladies, I know you single. You want a relationship. You want to be in love. You want to have matching Christmas pajamas. You want to do all that. But don't waste your time with people who gonna waste your time. There were some relationships that I knew better. I had no business being in these relationships. I had no business being attached to certain people. And because I allowed myself to open that door, I also opened up that door for the disappointment. I also opened up that door to get let down. I also opened up that door for my feelings to get hurt. And see, sometimes we know we ain't supposed to be in situations. I knew I wasn't supposed to marry my ex-husband. But I was in a space where I wanted to be married. I felt like I was ready. My ex-boyfriend wasn't ready. Like, you ain't ready. So I'm ready and I need to find somebody who's ready with me. Okay? I ain't going to jail or hell for nobody. Ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. We ain't got time. My time too precious. And my time is too precious to be wasted on somebody who don't show me love, who ain't got genuine love for me. Like, I'm not about to sit up here and entertain no conversation with you and I know you don't rock with me. You don't rock with me? Okay, cool. Let me fall back. You, we, 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 we not cool? Okay, let me unfriend you. Let, Ain't no, ain't no B. Let me just, let me just move out your way. Let me, let me unfollow you. No, I ain't blocking you. I ain't blocking nobody unless I got to. Now that's, that's when it's like escalated to a point where you don't need to know what I got going on. You are excluded out of my life completely. And see, there are some people who have blocked you or tried to block your blessings and all they did was block their own. There are some people who literally tried to boomerang you, but you know what a boomerang does? It comes right back. You throw it out there, boom, it comes right back. And sometimes it comes back with more of an intensity than when it left. That's why you got to be mindful of dealing with people who are doers versus people who are talkers. I speak for a living as part of my profession. I host events as a part of my profession. And I do a very great job at doing it. But I also come across a lot of people who do a lot of this. They not doing it. They talking about it. And I love people who also hold me accountable when I'm doing this. 
Uh uh, Jaja, I heard what you said about what you said, and I need you to do what you said you was going to do. You right. Because we all need people to hold us accountable for the person we say we want to be, for the things that we say we want to do in life. If ain't nobody holding you accountable, what you need them around for? My son is a successful young man in college because I held him accountable. You ain't about to be laying up in my house, fiddling around, pussyfooting around, not doing nothing with your life. No, I'm holding you accountable because that's what parents do. You get in a relationship. You, you hold those people accountable. If you say you're going to do something, hold yourself accountable and follow through. One of my biggest things for these last few days, I was kicking myself because there were some things that I didn't get a chance to, to finish. There were some things, there were some things that I didn't get a chance to complete that I wanted to complete. And I was kicking myself. But I had to learn, okay, Jaja, you didn't complete it because of X, Y, Z. So you know now that when you get ready to go and tap into it, you know you can't have certain things around you. Certain people can't call you and pull up to your house. You got stuff to do. And see, in 2022, if you still got this same mindset, you still, you still battling some of those same habits, I, I had to detox. And, and, and rid myself of some of the habits that I was used to encountering. But I had to say, Ja, in order for you to get to that next level, you're going to have to fast and pray off this. It may not be easy. Some things ain't always easy to walk away from. Some people ain't always easy to walk away from. Some people are your drug. Shopping may be your addiction. It may not be weed. It may not be cigarettes. It may not be alcohol. Pride may be your addiction. Arrogance may be your addiction. Not learning to be accountable for your own behavior may be your addiction. Lying may be your addiction. I know some people, they just lie. Like you do know we know the truth, right? You ain't got a lot of us. You ain't got a lot of kick it. That's what we used to say. You ain't got a lot of kick it. And it's so crazy because in a world where we're watching people literally die, like they whipped up a formula in the lab. They took that formula, spread it across the world like peanut butter. They gave us all these rules, all of these precautions, all of this, this. Then they threw out a, a, some medicine at us. Then they turned around and said, you ain't got to you ain't got to quarantine this long. Then they said, you ain't even got to do you ain't got to wear a mask no more. They threw all this stuff. Do all this stuff. Right. And we sitting up here. Looking at all of this stuff happen and we not paying attention to our own lives and our own families and our own identities. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't trust man. I trust God. I put all my trust in God because man will fail you. They are failing our country. They are failing our world. They are failing our state and they are failing our city. And if you are not careful, there are some people in your family that are failing your family, keeping up drama, keeping up mess. Then something happened in this world, in this country. You can't even contact your family because y'all beefed out. You ain't got nowhere to stay because because you didn't burn bridges with everybody. And now you struggling trying to figure it out. When you had ample amount of opportunities to say, you know what? Let me get out my own way. And some of us are in our own way. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to Yah, I said it. And before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time. Listen, I'm your girl, Jaja. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know Jaja. And you already know Yah, I said it. And before I take it back, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? I'm going to add more to it. And I know you heard me the first time because you ain't got a heaven or hell to put me in. And that's the beautiful thing. That's why I love God so much, because what a person may think you don't deserve, God is saying, baby, I got that and more. Oh, oh, they mad at you for that? They they upset because you got a billboard? Oh, they, they upset because you got another billboard? Oh, well, wait till they start seeing your commercials on TV and they watching their favorite show. Oh, wait, wait till they watching their favorite show and here you come as one of, one of the extras. I may not have no lines, but you see me. See, there are some things and some blessings that God wants you to have, despite if somebody else wants you to have them. This is why you owe you. You owe you to go to the gym and get yourself healthy for your children. You owe you for you. Listen, when I had COVID in 2020, everybody thought it was funny. Ha, 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 ha. 
Not so funny no more, is it? There were people, oh, I ain't got it. I'm asystematic. And all these things you had these people thinking you, you better stop letting these people fool you. That's why you got to trust God. That's why you got to pray. You got to fast. You got to be as sincere as possible. Let me tell you something. When I kick it with God, when I talk to God, when I pray to God, I'm not coming as nobody but Zsa I'm not coming as nobody but me. And if you're not careful, you'll act like you did it on your own. You'll act like I don't owe nobody nothing. No, you owe some people some thank yous. You owe God some hallelujahs, some praise God. Thank you for not killing me when I could have been dead, not just from COVID, but HIV AIDS, from hallucinations, heart attacks, strokes, aneurysms. It, 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 it didn't have to be COVID that killed you. Because this is still stuff going on. People still getting cancer. People still getting in accidents. While we looking out for COVID, it's still other stuff that could take us out. Stress. And this is one of the reasons why you're going to have to trust God and not people. Because people change just like the seasons. People change just like the seasons. And if you're not careful who you thought a person was in the summer ain't the same person in the winter. Who you fell in love with in the winter here come the summer and now all of a sudden they want to have a hot boy, hot girl summer. And they was just all, it was cuffing season in the wintertime. You was in love. You was ready to marry me. Now here come the summertime and you ready to hit the streets. People change. People change. And because people change, you got to learn to trust in God with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. See, there were some things that I didn't understand that was happening in my life and in my world. But I had to learn to trust God in the midst of all of that. I didn't understand why this person betrayed me, but I know it's, it's a reason why God allowed it to happen. I don't know why this person walked away from me, but it's a reason why God allowed it to happen. It's a reason why this didn't work out the way I thought it was going to work out. You know why? Because God hears some things that you didn't hear. God sees some things you don't see. And this is the things that I love about God. Because while you feel lonely or you may feel isolated or you may feel like, you know, People are putting you over here. It's God protecting you. I had to learn that. My life had always been so chaotic, so loud. It was always stuff going on. I come from a family of, of seven. I got five sisters and three brothers. So it was never a dull moment in my world up until my mother, after my mother passed away. We were all living in the same house. I was sleeping on the couch for years while everybody else had their own bed. Picking up people, dropping people off, paying bills, and I didn't even have a bed to sleep on. And so you learn to trust in God that it ain't going to always be like this. And then you also learn there are going to be people who act like they don't see you. They see you. They trying to copy you like a carbon copy. But I'm going to tell you something. What God has for me is for me. You can try to sound like me. You can say, what up, though? It's your girl, Zsa Try to make it. You can do whatever it is that you think you can do. But what's for me is always going to be for me. And I'm going to walk into whatever God has for me. Because guess what? It was a sign specifically for me. Yeah, you may get some successes in it. But there won't be longevity. Because it wasn't your assignment. And see, a lot of us, we copy off of people, and that's not your assignment. A lot of us, we hinder people's growth and their success because we don't want them to be as successful as us. Or we don't want them to, but see, all you're doing is hindering you. You may be hot for a moment, but are they going to know you 10 years from now? You will fizzle out like a firecracker, and you will be an afterthought. This is why you got to be careful how you treat people. Got to be careful. This year, I had some I had some people do some scandalous stuff. Brought them ideas. Wanted to work together, collab, do things with. Because I'm big on that. And while people was trying to exit me out of stuff I brought to them, all they did was put damage on them. Now you've been marked. And now anything that God blesses me with, I can't share it with you. Because now I see how you operate. And see, God is getting ready to do some 
abundantly above all I could think or ask blessings. I'm getting ready to walk into one of the greatest seasons of my life because I planted those seeds. And it's not just where I reside. It's going to be everywhere. Everywhere. Because, see, I talked to you guys earlier about the, J the Jabez prayer, a territory, expansion. That doesn't mean you just right here in this one little area. No, when God wants to do something in you, he going to do it. And ain't nothing nobody can do to stop it. It don't matter how many people don't like you. It don't matter how many people talked about you. It don't matter how many, if your mama didn't support you, if your daddy didn't support you, if your family ain't supporting you, if your friends and turned away from you, guess what? God will send you people that's like family. God will replace siblings with people that's like your siblings. D d people don't want to do right by you. He'll send you people that'll do right by you and some. And if you're tuning in, you're listening to y'all, I said it before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Because see, one of the things that I know for sure, two things for certain, is that people will miss your vibe. They'll act like they don't. They'll try to make it seem like they don't. But when you free yourself, and you free yourself for real, nobody can hold you hostage for anything. You are a whole vibe, a whole big bag of energy. And if you operate with intentions that are pure, guess what? Those people who thought they was doing you wrong, they end up missing your vibe. They end up missing everything that you bring to the table because people can't, people can't, you can't find a real friendship. If you have friends that you really supported and you had homies that you really looked out for, they ain't had no clothes and you was giving them jeans and they ain't had no shoes and you gave them pairs of shoes and, and, and you ain't even asked for none of it back. And then they want to turn around and look at you crazy like you didn't do nothing for them. Don't worry. Don't don't you worry because you did it with pure intentions. And see, people got to people got to deal with that energy that you gave them that they no longer have. See. This is one of the reasons why I love God. He makes us all original. Your DNA. There's nobody with DNA like you. Even if you come out of the womb with six tuplets or triplets or quadruplets, every last one of them, the DNA is different. Your vibe is different. That's why when people see you, when people say, man, you, you, I love your energy. I love your vibe. You know why? Because God has given me something that you cannot go by. You can't go buy swag. Yeah, you can get all the outfits. Have you ever met somebody? Look at all the people who had PPPs and they was up. Now they ain't up no more. What happened to your swag? What happened to the bundles down your back, sis? What happened to the crab boils every week, bro? Because you thought that you could buy that swag. You can't buy. It's certain things you can't buy. It's in you. You can't buy it on you. And so because you can't buy it on you and it got to be in you, when you get people around you who genuinely love you and support you, who are you to try to dog them out? Who are you to try to belittle them? There are some vibes that you cannot replace. There are some there are some loves and some friendships and, and, and some situations that you cannot replace. You won't ever feel it again. That's why you got to be mindful of how you treat people. And see, I'm a big, firm believer to practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. You practice and preach being a good person, then be a good person. Even to the people you don't want to be a good person to. There are some people that I don't want to ever deal with ever in life. You don't have to talk to me ever again. I ain't got to ever talk to you again. And if I see you on the streets, hey, how you doing? I'm going to keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, you got to practice what you preach. And I'm going to tell you something else. God is going to put you in situations where, oh, you said that? Okay, let's see. Let's put your money where your mouth is. There are going to be some situations in your life in 2022 where you're going to have to practice what you preach. Oh, Black Lives Matter? Show us. You support black businesses? Let me see. You for youth and education? Show us. You, you, you for the, the entrepreneurs in the city, show me. You, you about protecting black women, how? Oh, you, you, you want your family, show, show me. Cause see a lot of people gonna say a lot of stuff in 2022. You better, you better pay attention to how they move and not what they say. 
It's a lot of people that's going to say a lot of stuff that's going to tickle your fancy. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread. But I'm going to tell you something. That sliced bread get wet and it also will become in a position where you can't even use it no more. So you be mindful of what people do, not what they say. And I'm going to tell you something. There are people that are weird in real life. Learn to deal with them accordingly. Don't you ever love more people than they love you. Don't ever. We done with that. Stop sticking your neck out for people who won't stick their neck out for you. See, a lot of us will go the extra mile because we care about them. You know, my sister told me the other day, you care too much. I don't know how to uncare. Like you just, when you care, you care. But I also have to learn, pull back, Ja. Pull, and that's on everything and everyone. Pull back. You've, you've shown, you've seeded, you, they know, people know. So you gotta pull back. And you got to focus on you in 2022. Let me get my mind right. Let me get my body right. Let me get my finances in order. Let me get my health together. Let me get my personal development together. Let me focus on my career. Let me let me fall in love with me again. Let me deal with my self-care. Let me deal with my home life. And the minute that you start focusing and zero in on you, it's going to make some people uncomfortable. It's going to make some people feel some type of way. But I'm going to tell you something. If those people care about you and they value what you bring to the table and they genuinely love you, they're going to respect how you move. I ain't got to talk to people every day for them to, to, to love me and support me because they know what tip I'm on. But people that don't love me and don't support me, they ain't trying. they're not trying to hear what I'm saying. You know why? Because they only focused on what they focused on. And I'm going to tell you something, too. This is the year that God does not want to delay your success, but he will delay it if you're around the wrong people. See, God didn't open up the floodgates of my blessings until I stopped hanging with the girl that stayed at the bar until it closed. I'm at the bar. I don't even hang at the bar. You at the bar kicking it. Everybody knows your name. This ain't cheers. And the minute that he wiped me away from that relationship, he said, here, boom, boom. Hanging out with people that ain't had no business. We ain't even on the same page. Yeah, they saying they want to do this and they saying they want to do that, but they ain't going to do it, y'all. So you're going to have to learn to do you. Walk away. You're going to have to walk away. It's going to be uncomfortable. They're going to make you feel some type of way. Yeah, they may even call you fake. They may even call you this, that, and the third. I am. I'm focused. I'm unbothered and unscathed. I'm not about to sit up here and let you take away my joy or my peace because I work too hard to maintain it. And I'm 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 speaking all joy, all blessings, all peace, all prosperity, all 2022. And if you don't want none of that for you, then guess what? Some people you just going to have to walk away from. And it's going to be OK. You're going to be all right. Family, too. You're going to be OK. You're going to be all right. And I'm going to tell you something. Black people have been so accustomed to being in survival mode. We hoarder everything. Give me this. Give me mine. I got to get mine. It's like it's like we're living in a prison, but not in prison. You ain't never been in prison or jail. You, pe people in prison and jail because you don't want nobody taking nothing from you. So you, you, you hold with one arm and you eating with another one. And we take that same mentality and that same mindset in our day to day operate. I got to hoard my stuff and hoard my blessings and can't nobody else get mine because I got to get mine. You get your wrong disposition to have because you end up hurting relationships that you should be harboring and, and building. But because you like this, I got to have mine. And you got your blessings in a chokehold and can't nobody else. get. You might want to be careful. You might want to be careful because this is the thing. When you want a lifestyle, there's a lifestyle I want, y'all. There's a lifestyle that I believe that God has allowed me to see for a reason because it's obtainable. There are some, I don't know what God showed you. I don't know what, what you're expecting and, and what the vision is, but I know what God showed me. And because I know what God showed me, there's a lifestyle in a way that I need to live. 
There's there are things that I want to do in order for me to accomplish those things that I want to do. There's a certain way I got to move. And I want to tell you this. Don't let fear rob you. Don't let being scared or what somebody going to say and how somebody going to feel rob you of living your best life. I feared so much. Don't say this. Don't do this. Don't wear it like this. Don't put this on. Don't use this language. And I had to come to the conclusion of I can't let how somebody else feel stop me from doing what God called me to do. Because when God come back or if he decide to come back or whatever, however that go, I want to be known of doing what he showed me that I could do. So at the end of the day, if you're allowing fear to rob you from starting that business, fear of, 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 of walking away from that relationship, fear of, of, of failure and you ain't going to start because you, you don't want to fail. Let me tell you something. You have already been robbed. And I made up in my conscientious and subconscious mind that I'm not going to let fear rob me anymore. I'm going to be fearless. And this is why I started, yeah, I said it. Because before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Because people will try to make you fearful and keep you in their comfortable box. So that they can maintain you and tame you. That's not their job. And I'm going to tell you something. When people value what you bring to the table and it's broken, they're going to want to fix it. Either they're going to want to fix it. Either they're going to want to get somebody to help you fix it or they're going to leave it broken. But don't you leave it broken. Don't you leave you broken. If, the, if you can't fix the situation, fix you. If you can't fix the situation, fix you. If the people won't change this around you, change you. If the people did this around you, they don't want to change. Guess what? You're going to have to get up and get out in another environment. Even if that means being in the same household as a person, but putting your earphones in. I, listen, there have been times I've been in the same room with the same people who did not have good intentions for me. And guess what? I, I rose above it. I don't see you. I'm blind. Stevie Wonder. I don't know you. You don't know me. I... Psh, tunnel vision because the minute I start looking and paying attention who don't like me who said this is this a true do I, I gotta fight this lie now I'm wasting my energy and one thing's for sure two things for certain one thing that we can't get back is wasted time and wasted energy and listen if you're tuning in you're listening to y'all said it before I take it back I'm gonna add more to it listen I want you all to make sure that you do a life audit do a life audit. Go through the things that's in your life. Go down the line. Go down the line and do that life audit and say, okay, what my health looking like? What my finances looking like? What my personal looking like? What my career looking like? What my self-care look like? What, what does my, my home like? My free time, my relationships, what does that look like? Because if you don't want it to look like it did in 2021, then you're going to have to make it do what it do in 2022. Let me tell you something. I'm not about to let nobody stop me from what God has called me to do. Because if I do that, then I don't walk in my purpose. Now I end up back where I started. And don't nobody want to go backwards. We want to move forward. And sometimes moving forward means leaving some people behind. Don't mean you hate them. Don't mean you dislike them. It just means that I love me more than I love you. I love my peace of mind more than I love your chaos. I love my positivity more than I love your negativeness. I love my smile more than I love your evil frown. I love me and I can't be around nobody that ain't celebrating or love me. Because at the end of the day, if you don't mean me no good, God going to show me you don't mean me no good. And y'all better start believing when God show you these people. Listen, I love y'all. Have a wonderful and amazing uh, new year and holiday and happy new year. Remember to wash your hands, social distance, wear your mask, and increase all of your vitamins. Get your elderberry, drink your ginger root every morning. Wake up and boil your tea and drink your hot tea. Because listen, the only way we're going to win this thing and the only thing 
that you can do to keep yourself alive and healthy is give yourself the very things that God created us to have. God didn't, God didn't go in no lab. That's not what he created. That's what man created. God created the sun, fresh air, plants, vegetables, vitamins. So before you decide that you are going to be codependent upon what they think you should have and what they telling you you should do, you better tap in. You better tap into oh, what's already been here for centuries. They know they they know the power of fruits and vegetables. Why you think they own all the farms? We in the wrong business. Before you go try to get you a beauty supply store, why don't you go try to get you some land so we can really make some stuff shake around here? But that's nor here nor there. That's a whole other story for another day. Listen, I got to get out of here because I got stuff to do. But I love y'all so very much. Listen, we have ended one year of Yeah, I Said It. And uh, it has been an amazing, amazing, amazing time frame. And I'm super, super grateful to God be the glory um, because he allowed me to show up every Thursday. Some Thursdays I had tears in my eyes. Some Thursdays I had just finished arguing with people or dealing with some stuff. Some days I didn't even feel like doing it. But God said, is you going to do it or no? You called to do it or no? Because there's going to be some days where you ain't going to feel like doing it. But God called you to it and he going to bring you through it. Listen, I know I'm a living witness. I love y'all. Listen, make sure you tune in each and every Thursday to Yeah, I Said It, because y'all already know before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, You Know Jaja. That's the name of my YouTube channel, You Know Jaja. And if you know me, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and stop acting funny. Yeah, I said it, and before I take it back, I'm going to add more to it. You got a YouTube channel you need me to subscribe to? Slide in my DMs. I subscribe. I ain't fake like that. We got to stop being like that. If we expect for our people to get better, we're going to have to look at our people and want each other to be better. Not, mm, 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 mm. no, nah, all of that, time off all of that. We ain't even in that, we ain't even in that space. And anybody that's giving out that type of energy, we ain't got that type of time. Listen, I love y'all. Until next year, peace.